to my channel so yes I am filming one more video today and today it's a haul and I just I need to get out of the way so I can put this stuff away because I've been holding on to it all so that I can show you this huge mommy haul that I did because I never buy things for myself so yes I splurged a little bit and I bought quite a bit of things for myself and some of it I got sent too. a little bit of stuff in this bag here and a lot of stuff in this box here I'll just start digging into my little box here to show with you guys. Lots of it's beauty items. So first off, this is something I actually got off Amazon, and it is the Glam Glow Mask. As you guys know, I have a really troubled skin, so this is something that really interested me, and I ended up finding this online for like $56 free shipping, so a lot cheaper than actual Sephora, so I would recommend going on Amazon maybe before looking at it, and I got it from like Amazon, so... I know it's like legit. <laughs> As you can see, it's just like this gray clay mask and it smells mint in the jar. But when you put it in your face, it starts to smell a little bit like um, black licorice, but I really love this. I actually tried this out today because I, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait. I, I had to dry. I couldn't wait with a lot of these things. So I had to try it out and I actually have a picture of myself right here and I was so shocked by the results of it I could see so many dots of all the oils pulling up my skin because I have pores everywhere on my face and I just have very problematic oily skin so it was nice to see everything on my forehead and my chin and all around my nose all that gunk being pulled out my face felt really nice afterwards and we'll only see tomorrow if I end up with like a big breakout because of it or if I end up looking clear skin so and next I have a little order from makeup geek I had really been interested and the stippling and buffer brush and I had been put like it was out of stock for so long so as soon as it came in stock you know I had to buy both of them the stippling brush I had heard from Jaclyn Hill so I really really wanted to try this it's actually surprisingly a lot smaller than I thought it'd be I thought it'd be closer to the size of maybe like the elf stippling brush but just maybe a little bit denser and then I got the buffing brush which is about the size that I thought it would be and I've tried the buffing brush out, but I didn't try this one out. But I do like the buffing brush for really buffing out any harsh lines that you might have. But I'm really excited to be able to try these brushes out and see more what I am, if I'm going to like them or what I think of them. And because I was placing an order, I love their eyeshadows as I talked about my favorites. So I had to get two of their eyeshadows, ones that I've been wanting that haven't been in stock. This one, I'm so excited because now I can take them out of their little package and put them in my Z palette is the color Chickadee. It is just a really pretty orange color. Like I said when I did that sunrise tutorial, this was the orange I really wanted, but it had been out of stock for so long I couldn't do that look But with it is it. just this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous orange. Uh, let's see if I can... I'm not really good at swatching with this hand because this is my opposite hand. But can you see the pigmentation of that? It is just crazy because it is a matte color and mattes I find are never that pigmented. So it's just a beautiful pigmented matte orange. Love it. The next color I got was this one. This is the color Cinderella. It had also been out of stock. It's just a really pretty shimmery pink. I'm always into like shimmery pink colors. I just love, I love them. The swatch of that one, as you can see, it's a really nice pinky shimmery beautiful. I love the shimmer. I love the color. I think that would look really nice with a really like matte brown in the crease or just, I don't know, it's just so beautiful and I needed to have it and it's one of their most popular ones. So that is all that I got from Makeup Geek. So I don't know if you guys noticed at the bottom of my videos, I recently became a Sigma affiliate, um, which I was really, really excited to be accepted into their affiliate program because it's Sigma, and who doesn't love Sigma? I love their brushes. So I did get a little welcome package from them with a couple of goodies, which I've been, I haven't tried any of them out, but I'm so excited. Two things first, they gave me um, one of their most popular brushes, which is the little mini pink E55 brush. This is so stinking cute, and it is one of my favorite brushes just to pack on to the lid. So this will be my second one, but I love it, and I'm super excited. And who can have too many brushes? Like, really. If you guys only saw my brush collection, you would think I was mad. Then they sent me some of their makeup items, which I've never, ever tried any of Sigma's makeup, so I was extremely excited to be able to get some of the stuff and try it out. They sent me two eyeshadows, which are totally my colors, too. So this is a purple color, and this is the color Moon Beam. It's just a really pretty purple. It's kind of similar to... Um, Makeup Geeks Pop Culture. Makeup Geeks Pop Culture has a little more shimmering of blue tones, but they are kind of similar. This one is definitely more purple. So, so, so pretty, and it, it feels very creamy, and yeah, there's a swatch of it. 
They did send me a second shadow, and this is in the shade Tri Triumph. <laughs> I didn't think I could read. I just I just can't read in general. And this I thought was more of like a black color when I first looked at it, but it does have reflex of blue. And actually, when I swatched it for the first time, this is a lot more creamier than the other one. I'm just gonna let you know. It looks really similar to Max Blue Brown or even Makeup Geek Insomnia, like super similar. It's like Makeup Geeks Insomnia, but in a pressed form and not a pigment. And I own Makeup Geeks Insomnia, so you know I'm gonna love that. I definitely, this is more of my favorite than the Moonbeam, but this is just gorgeous. Do you see the reflex in that? Beautiful. Can you imagine if you wet it? It would be like this metallic blue-brown. Oh, beautiful. I got a eyeliner from them. This is in the color Atomic Number no. 6. Now, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be black or brown. The pencil looks brown to me, right? Because that's a black top. But when you put it on your hand, I don't know. It must. It's very, very creamy. I guess it's a very, like, dark blackish brown. But I really love this because I don't own any brown eyeliners. And that's one of the things I wanted to to go and look for to get in my collection so now I'm super happy to get this and this the waterline and stuff because it's more natural color it's still black but it's got more of that brown tint so I think it's gonna be beautiful and it's so creamy guys like just one little swipe do you see that oh I'm so excited so excited to use it oh my gosh beautiful highlights I think this white would be gorgeous as like an under brow highlight as you can if you can even see it there gorgeous and this one would be just so pretty as a cheek highlighter oh do you see that oh I'm excited to try these out and I didn't know they even carried highlighters so yeah I might be getting those and lastly from Sigma I received a lip gloss and this is probably my favorite thing from them this is their lip gloss in tranquil it just looks like a beautiful like it's I don't know it, it feels like it's gonna be sticky um, but it's just like I don't know just a perfect like sheer nudie berry like it might even look good on what I'm wearing right now I have a leftover pimple if you're thinking that's a cold sore Mm, I actually like that one I'm wearing right now. It does taste a little funny. It tastes kind of plasticky, but it smells good. Applies good. And it doesn't feel super sticky. It feels more like it'd be sticky on my hand. But it's, it is a really beautiful color. And I can see me wearing this in fall. Yeah, I like that color. It's pretty. Next thing. Bath and Body Works. I had to go in and buy some candles, obviously, for Christmas time. But first, before the candles, I actually bought this. This is their Aroma Therapy Pillow Mist, and this is in the scent Lavender Vanilla. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. I love the scent. I loved it when I used it, but the next day, I woke up, and the side of my face was really broken out, and I'm sure you guys could tell in my zoom-ins that I've got lots of breakouts underneath the skin. I'm not sure if it's this or something else. I'm not sure. So if any of you guys ever have broken out from this, because I'm really not sure, so I washed my pillowcase and haven't really used it. I don't know if I'll just use it as a room mist and kind of spray the room before I go to bed, but I was really excited for this purchase, and now I don't know how I feel because it smells amazing, and it did help me sleep. I just don't know how I feel about it, but it is a really nice scent. Like, really nice. So, the other four things I got from Bath & Body Works are candles. They're all Christmas scented because I'm trying to get ready for Christmas. I just love Christmas. So the first one I have is Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a classic. Just classic. It smells like vanilla bean. No, vanilla bean smell like, but it smells like the vanilla in your count cooking cupboard that you use to cook with. I think it will just smell so delightful and I'm super excited. I love me some Noel, Noella be or vanilla be Noel. <laughs> so the next candle that I got from Bath and Body Works is in Twisted Peppermint, which is like a classic candy cane scent. It smells so good, and I think this is going to smell so good in my house. The next one's Vanilla Bean Noel. I can probably put a little bit before, like probably mid-November. This will be a December scent because it's straight on, like peppermint is Christmas, and I love peppermint. I think it's such a fresh scent. So the next one I got, this is more like a New Year scent, and this is Champagne Toast. Oh, it smells like... I don't like how these don't say descriptions of the scents on the bottom anymore. Smells very fruity, very, very, very fruity, and I'm definitely going to be lighting this for New Year's. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's so fruity. You guys know I love fruity. It's so good. Last one I got was fresh balsam. Balsam? Basil? Balsam? However you say it, it's that tree. Balsam? That's how I think you say it. But it smells like a pine tree. And the reason we got this is we actually usually have a real Christmas tree. And this year we're going to have a fake one because we're unsure of how Caden and our new cat are going to react with... Um, having a real tree because our tree last year was a 10 foot tall real tree so we downsized and went to a 7 foot tall fake tree but I just love the scent of actual Christmas trees so I saw this and I was like I have to buy this we're gonna light it downstairs where our Christmas tree is and it's still gonna smell like we have a real Christmas tree okay and that's all that I got from Bath and Body Works I'm going to try and do the rest of this pretty quick because this is my Sephora haul and I actually got quite a bit because they had a really good thing going on there where you could get a little free makeup bag with a whole bunch of goodies this was just like a coupon code you put in or whatever and I got to pick one of three makeup bags with a whole bunch of things and I picked the one called Bright Night Out. So if you will go looking, get Bright Night Out if you want the same things as me because I was more in love with this stuff. So I got another perfume. This is Chloe and I love perfume samples because you can just throw them in your purse and have these little itty bitty things and bring them on the go. I also got an Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Pencil sample in the color black. Sorry, I'm not showing close-ups of these. These are just samples. I didn't think it'd be a big thing. And I actually tried this on today. I was kind of sad I opened it and the whole tip had broken off of it. Um, I just sharpened it and I used it today. And so far, it's looking pretty good in my waterline and everything. Then I got another perfume. This is the Farrell Williams Girl for girls and boys. And it's just in this package. But it feels like it's a little tube. I just haven't opened it yet because I don't need to use it yet. I got a Mark. Jacob's Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyl, and it came in this. Let's see, this is like so good. This is for free. Look at all these samples. Sometimes you be a hundred buck or hundred points for these little things. So this is like a really pink sparkly lip gloss. Kale. Can you guys see that even? And let's try it out beside. It's very sheer, very very sheer. Like it has a little pink. It's not gonna show up very much. You're maybe gonna get those gold glitters. It's per pretty. It would go nice over a nude. Again, these are perfect little size to throw into uh, your purse. I got another lip gloss. This one I was super excited about because this is by Kat Von D and I've never tried anything by her and I love the packaging. This is in the color Bachelorette. It looks more red but it's more of a pinkish. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in love. That is so so pigmented that's like a liquid lipstick sorry I'm just so in shock by this because I was not expecting it to be so so pigmented this is gonna be so much fun probably more wear it in the summer because it is flipping bright that's crazy okay sorry oh man I feel like this is gonna stain your lips people be warned if you get it it will stain your lips okay Look. Then I got the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara, and I'm actually wearing it right now, and I really like it. It's got that little wiggly wand. Excited to get that. I got the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish, Sha Photo Finish Shadow Primer. It's a little sample of that, and I actually have that on my eyes. And, uh, I don't know. It's good, I guess. And then I got Love Swept Philosophy Follow Your Heart. I'm getting pink everywhere now. Um, body Lotion. Oh, I feel like it's got, like, one of those covers, so I won't be able to squirt it out, but nice little size perfect to put in my purse again and then you also get this little makeup bag which I think is so cute like who doesn't love makeup bags next I got everyone's been talking about this so I had to get the NARS creamy radiant concealer I did try this under my eyes today I got it in the color vanilla so this is like the second lightest color and it's just like yeah, it's more of like a pinky toned, which I usually don't use, but I thought it would look really nice under my eyes and kind of help cancel out any, I don't know, darkness I might have, because I heard that pink is really good for that. So I do have it under my eyes today, and there doesn't seem to be any creasing, and it's covered up my dark circles pretty good. Other than these lines, I really have troubles um, covering up those lines, but I don't know. I'm really happy with it so far, and I really want to try it out. So I'm super excited to get this and try it out more and see if it compares to my MAC Pro Longwear because that is my favorite. Um, next I got a bronzer because I don't own any high-end bronzers. So I've heard lots about this. this is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and this is in just chocolate because I know I'm really light but 
Oh, it smells so good. Um, I heard that chocolate works good on light people too, and I do have it as a contour, so maybe it's a little dark. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, looking it on, I don't think it looks pretty dark. I, I think it's a good shade for my skin tone, and I'm happy to play around with it. Next, I got the Becca highlighter in Opal. I know this is like a cult classic. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to use Opal or Moonstone, but I'm glad I got Opal because I don't I don't have any highlighters like this at all. It's just so beautiful, and I actually have it on today. You can see that bam, 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 thank you, ma'am highlight. Oh yeah, that's this. This is so pretty. I wasn't sure if it would look good on me without me being tanned. You can see it in the middle there. But it does. It looks pretty because it really like it goes on bright like this, but you can really you can really sheer it out so it's more like just that glow. So I am super excited, but now it makes me want to get Moonstone, and I probably will get Moonstone on my next online order. Then I have two last things. I know this is a really long haul, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I just got the Grindhouse Sharpener from Urban Decay. I'm not going to do a close-up of that because it's just a pencil sharpener. And last but not least, I got the Tarte Limited Edition Blush Palette because I don't own any high-end blushes. This is just a stunning palette. And I actually have this color and this color on my cheeks today. I have the dark color up here and the lighter just on the balls of my cheeks. They are just gorgeous. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do swatches like this. Of those four. Do you see that? So pretty. This one, I don't know. Even on my skin, I think it might be a little light. And here's the last color there. So as you guys can see, these are the five colors. Right now on my cheeks, as I said, I have this one and this one on my cheeks. But they're really, really beautiful. So yeah, I hope I didn't bore you and I hope this haul isn't 20 minutes long, but I guess we'll see when I edit it. I just really want to share with you because I don't really share mommy hauls. I show lots of like Cadence hauls. But this I was really excited because I got a lot of new things and I finally just spent money on me. I never spent money on me. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys. Um, yeah, I guess that's all for this video. And um, subscribe if you haven't already because I put in a new video every single week. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!